a little bit more. One more dot. Let's get it. One more dot. One more piece. Go the other way. We are Gabi and Dan, and our original goal was to sail around the Caribbean. In January 2020, we picked up our boat Lira Astra in Guatemala and took off to Belize. Just before we set the course for Mexico, COVID-19 became a world pandemic. We got stuck in Belize. When the rules eased up, we decided to take advantage and visit an island we've been eyeing for a while now. It's about 5 a.m. and uh, we decided to go to the island. A beautiful, secluded and still undeveloped Moho Key. The depth, wind speed, and that's an apparent wind speed. And the direction at this point, the direction is not important. I think I went forward too much. I went forward too much. So it was kind of stuck. And not above water. But now we're good. Now we're just lifting. You see now we're drifting? Yeah. That means that the anchor is already out. The reason why it's so heavy is that there's a lot of mud on it. Okay. What would be an easy and direct sail to Moho Key with a cat turned into a three-day island hopping adventure with a number of setbacks for us. This is how it happened. We could not take a direct route due to our deep keel. Instead, we needed to sail around the crawl key and pass King Louis. We ended up motor sailing most of the way to Crow Key before finally packing toward King Louis and enjoying the breeze in the right direction. Because it was getting late and we didn't want to risk rushing or sailing into the night to an anchorage we didn't know, we decided to anchor by King Louis for the night. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Good job, Six cabanas, a big pier with a pool next to it, and a bar with a swing on the opposite side provide the most amazing backdrop.
By noon, we were already on our way to the next island, the Mohoki. The wind was light and the sail was easy in the deep Victoria Channel. So we're arriving to Mohoki. Let's see what it will look like. Of course, there is nothing to be seen. So the islands, the Mohoki looks really nice. Uh, so there is one mooring bowl, it seems small. And behind it on the right, there is another one. So we're gonna check it out because it might be too shallow over there. Leave it to the professional. Říkejme, jak je daleko. OK. Klidně. We missed the approach to the morning the first time, so I let the boat drop and spin around for another try. Je úplně nádherná. Mohoki is a massive 12 acre palm fringed private island surrounded by crystal blue waters and incredible natural coral reefs. It's the ideal spot for our adventurous overnight stay. We were so looking forward to exploring and snorkeling in these beautiful waters, but we're in for another surprise. Did you have any luck? <laughs> Super. Is it just you guys on the island? Yeah. And in general, when it's open, it's public, right? Yeah. Very cool. We're off to our third island for the day, Ranguanaki. I'm gonna unhook from the mooring ball and we're just gonna go. Work at the same time. Open it. Go, go. Like work. We stayed in the deep Victory Channel and just watched when we were passing shallow spots. It's Saturday. 
There's wings. It's Saturday. <laughs> and decided that today we're gonna go to an island and get a uh, romantic dinner served uh, in this romantic island. Yeah, because we like to, you know, have some romantic time and do some nice things for each other because when you're living together, you're together all the time. I think most of you know it from what it's like from the quarantine. It's important not to have the routine, but to break it down with something special. So we're breaking it down and uh, we have one hour left uh, to, uh, to anchor. Yeah. Are oh, yeah. you looking forward to it, baby? I am looking forward to it. Perfect. No wind. None. I don't see the island yet. It's kind of murky. Not too uh, clear. It's not cloudy, it's just m foggy, foggish. That's it. We arrived in our usual spot, anchored and relaxed on the boat, enjoying the sunset. Home sweet home. <laughs> Ranguana is one of my most favorite keys in Belize. We're always welcomed and love its rich fauna and flora. Join us next time as we share our stay in Ranguana. Thank you for following our voyage and please subscribe to our channel for more adventures.